Texas UFO was saucer-shaped and apparently changed speeds according to the man who shot the footage. Interestingly, the Texas man is not a big... Okay, so that's the UFO. He does have the shape. I, I gotta admit. Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and welcome back to another reaction video. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna react to some aliens. <laughs> Uh, we had ghosts on our uh, videos here. We tried to debunk them. Some of them were easy. Some of them were a little bit harder to debunk, but it wasn't impossible. Then we had some possessed people, which were kind of hard to debunk, to be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch a lot more of those videos with possessed people because I couldn't actually find a way to debunk them and give an explanation for what I saw in that video. But I thought, what is the next thing that I should react to, right? We have ghosts, we have possessed people, well, aliens. <laughs> so here we have a video, it's called 10 aliens caught, uh, caught on camera in real life. Now, I haven't watched the video. I don't know exactly uh, what's going to be in this video. I hope I can debunk some of them. These videos with aliens, sometimes they're a lot easier to debunk rather than, uh, for example, possessed people or something like that. But uh, who knows, maybe, maybe it's going to be harder okay now obviously the question is guys do you believe in aliens and the other question is do i believe in aliens well i will have to say yes <laughs> now um obviously i don't know i haven't seen any of them but i have to believe that there is something more out there uh, not just us right and if i may quote carl sagan he used to say that i might misquote him here a little bit and paraphrase but uh, the general idea of what he said is that uh, the chances for aliens to exist are pretty much the same but the answer is scary for both of them right because if you think about if aliens exist where are they <laughs> okay who are they what are they capable of are they friendly are they gonna be enemies for us if the day we will see them and get in contact with them on the other hand, if aliens don't exist, are we really alone in this universe? Like, it means we are like a freak of nature, right? <laughs> we are a special case that happened in this universe that uh, it hasn't happened anywhere else on any planet or anywhere else, yeah? Any solar system or galaxy or whatever. And that's scary, okay? So, yeah, I, I think they they exist somewhere out there i don't know if they ever came on our planet maybe in the past i don't know again i haven't seen them <laughs> i don't know anything about them uh all i know it's from like videos like this one or pictures or something like that people talking about them but i don't really know what happened okay but in this video hopefully we will get i don't know maybe we will get convinced that they actually exist maybe some of the videos would be great maybe we will manage to debunk them and find a reasonable explanation for what happens i don't know guys if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you want to become members of my channel just press the join button without further ado let's watch the video all right so let's uh, let's start here top five best even though it says 10 aliens top five best all right whatever are we truly alone in this universe? That is a question that has troubled many people for decades. But if these videos are to be believed, then we already have the answer that we're looking for. On that note, today we're going to be looking at aliens captured on tape. All Number right. one is the most compelling and possibly the most realistic one, so watch out for it. Number 10. I'm ready for my close-up. North Carolina's Candid Critters is a group of people who set in motion activated cameras all over North Carolina with the purpose of capturing the local wildlife and their natural habitat. Alright, so uh, it's not the classic uh, video where someone happened to be there with a the camera taking pictures, right? Or uh, recording. <laughs> so they went there and they put cameras to catch some uh, wildlife in the name. Alright, we'll see. We'll see what happens. That. They regularly post their findings on social media. The majority of them are of easily identifiable local fauna just going about their business. They aren't in the habit of posting unexplained or mysterious content, but one of their photos sparked up quite a bit of controversy. Just take a look at the photo and you'll see exactly what I mean. All right. This photo was taken on March 2nd, 2019 in some undisclosed woods in North Carolina and was posted online with the tagline Critter Quiz Time. What species can be seen in the photo below? It also followed up. 
The photo shows a haunting close-up of a creature in the dark with hollow black eyes appearing to be curious. Oh, that was a creature. I thought it was like a spaceship. Like they they recorded like <laughs> they took a picture of the sky with a spaceship. It's actually a, a creature. The camera. Many commenters quickly pointed out that it looked like the famous gray alien with its dark bulging eyes and pale complexion. Although can it kind of looks like a oh no actually because it's a close up right. So whatever this creature was, it came close to the camera. Again, I thought for a second this was like mountains, <laughs> you know, and this is the sky and here is the spaceship, right? The, the UFO, but no, this is a creature actually. I don't know. And creatures did say that the... Actually, it kind of looks like an owl, right? Photo was of a curious house cat. They never elaborated on how they came up with that conclusion. So, either way, this photo could be taken with a grain of salt. Yeah. Number 9. Alright, let's see number 9. of Redgate. Redgate is an area in western Montana that has been reported to be a hotbed for paranormal activity. For the past 50 to 60 years, sightings of weird lights, UFOs, and even unexplained humanoids have been reported in the area. However, all, right. all these trails are... So yeah, this is the same people that will come to you and say that they've been abducted and they saw a light in the sky and then something came down to them and it pulled them like a ray <laughs> of light you know uh, usually i don't really trust whenever someone comes and tells me about uh, aliens without having any proof with a picture or a video i don't really trust any any anything or what they're saying right <laughs> obviously i haven't met anyone okay let me be clear i haven't met anyone so far uh who came to me and say oh I've been abducted by aliens, okay? But I've met people who came and say, oh, I saw something in the sky. It was like a light. It was this and that. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what happens here. Are based on eyewitness accounts without really any hard evidence to back it up. That is okay. until now, at least. Don Bromley, a ranch foreman in western Montana, had a habit of setting up hundreds of trail cams in the property where he works, mainly to catch photos of the local wildlife and sometimes... Again, another one who places cameras everywhere just to uh, take pictures. Is this a thing in America? Uh, for in the woods where people go and place cameras everywhere just to catch some pictures of wildlife? He's even trespasses into the property. <clears throat> but one day he captured three night photos that baffled him. The first photo showed the blood. All right. I mean, this can be a person, right? Uh, the, the picture is black and white, so it's not going to show you any colors or anything. So... Uh, let's see the other ones. Very image of a humanoid figure with distinct legs, undefinable arms, and an oddly large head. The next photos were pitch black, which was odd because the trail camera was working fine. How convenient. Okay, so only one of them was good, the other two, they were bad. All right. Did the figure in the first video cause the camera to malfunction? Well, we don't really know. Nah. Number I think that's eight. a person. The Texas UFO. All right, UFOs see. have been spotted in the skies of Texas for decades. This yeah. next clip is just one of the latest. Secure Team 10, a YouTube channel with more than 350,000 subscribers, has published a new UFO sighting out of Texas. All right. The footage of the Texas UFO is actually pretty clear. The Texas UFO was saucer-shaped and apparently changed speeds according to the man who shot the footage. Interestingly, the Texas man is not a big... Okay, so that's the UFO. He does have the shape. I, I gotta admit, but is that a UFO? UFO believer. But he noted that there are too many unexplained things out there. This is a common theme with many people regarding aliens. What's even more shocking about this video is the fact that the man filming the object was very much a skeptic. But the event was so compelling it was enough for him to suspend his disbelief. At least for a bit. Mm -hmm. Numbers. Alright, so that was an interesting one, but obviously it wasn't, I mean, the image was clear, but it wasn't that clear, right? So we don't really know. Maybe it was just an airplane that was, uh, because of the camera and the darkness of the sky and everything, it maybe looked like a, like a spaceship, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's see number seven. Let's see what happens here. Seven. The dead alien. Ooh, all right. This video has been on the internet for more than a decade now, but it still sparks an animated discussion. The footage was taken near the village of Kamek in the Russian Republic, Buratia. This is just north of Lake Baikal. It showed what appeared to be a humanoid body less than a meter high with a skeletal big-eyed head and thin naked body. One of its legs was missing. Off-screen comments of the- 
I mean, it, it it can easily be faked, right? Uh, it can be like a, a doll or something that was a little bit modified to look like an alien, right? <laughs> the body was found a couple of hours before and was clearly very dead. The local media reported there was numerous reports of UFO sightings in the area in March, some of them later attributed to bombing training at a nearby military range. It was later reported that the people who allegedly found the alien admitted to hoaxing the entire thing. Oh, okay, so it was a hoax, all right, so that's fine. Like I said, it, it was like a puppet or a doll or something that was modified to look like an alien. They even made the alien themselves and painted it gray. All right. But some say that the men were forced by the government to recount their alien story and say that it was all just made up. Num all right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it is Russia, so you never know. Maybe they didn't want to to spark any alarm in the world, right? <laughs> or maybe they just wanted to keep the alien for themselves to do some experiments and find out some secrets, and they didn't want to share the glory with uh, America, so... Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what happens in Russia? Number six. All right, six. Bogey at 12 o'clock. Okay. When a civilian spots a UFO, they're quite easy to dismiss as mistaken identities or figments of imagination. However, when U.S. Navy pilots, five of them, report to have seen the same UFO and film it, then the story becomes quite compelling and needs to be looked at more closely. Okay. In 2017, the New York Times published a story that chronicled an in-air interaction between U.S. Navy pilots and a strange object near San Diego. The pilots had... So, yeah, uh, let me stop here. So, uh, I gotta admit that whenever I see uh, some sightings for, of UFOs and aliens and stuff like that, if those sightings and that um, uh, material comes from military, I kind of tend to <laughs> accept it more. Then if it comes from like a regular dude, you know, now I'm not saying that um, they uh, they are faking it or maybe it's real, but I mean, it's military. Like why, why would some, a bunch of soldiers try to fake it? I mean, at the end of the day, they're humans, right? Just like us. So they might want to get a little bit more attention, but usually military stuff like uh, military personnel, they don't really want to get attention on them, right? <laughs> That's not the, their purpose. It's not like a YouTuber who goes out there in the nature and he takes a bunch of pictures or a video of a UFO, right? Uh, militaries, they, they don't tend to do that. They, they like to keep it quiet on themselves, you know, and don't get in the spotlight and uh, grab too much attention on themselves. So that's why I'm tend, I tend to believe this more. But who knows? Let's see what exactly they found out. That snagged footage of an oblong flying object with their F-18's gun camera on November 14th of 2004. The object appeared dark against the bright daytime sky before, according to the... Oh, actually, I think I saw this uh, a while back. But again, you, we don't really see what's there, right? We only see a black uh, spot in the sky, but we don't know exactly what happened. Pilots suddenly and instantaneously accelerating to the left out of view of the camera sensor at what appears to be an unprecedented velocity. The U.S. Navy conducted a thorough investigation regarding the matter, but it looks like we won't exactly find out what those flying objects actually were. Yeah, exactly, because they're not going to come out and say, oh, okay, so it was a UFO, so uh, don't worry, <laughs> we're going to deal with it. <laughs> All right. As the U.S. government seems to be very hush about the matter. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Number five. Number five, guys. The ISS incident. Okay. It's one thing that governments around the world are denying the existence of alien life on Earth. It's a whole different matter if they're covering them up. The thing is, no matter how much you try to hide the truth, it's going to leak out somehow. Ironically enough, the leak came from NASA itself. A couple okay. <laughs> of UFO experts claim to a spot. So not everyone at NASA is like a really professional, right? Some, sometimes they find some stuff and they're like, you know what? I'm not going to keep this for myself. I'm going to share it with the whole world. <laughs> An alien vessel docked on NASA's International Space Station. Footage of the strange incident was captured by NASA's live stream service. Images from the live stream clip were first captured by the YouTube channel StreetCap1. According to the owner of the channel, the footage was captured by ISS camera that was mounted outside the station. It was streamed via NASA's website before the video was cut. Is that a thing they captured? Cut off. Street Cap One. I mean, that can be anything, right? I think I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not. I, I'm. I have to look on my other screen to see if I can see it better. I mean, it, it has a weird shape, but looks more like a fish to me. I noted that the footage was captured in 2014. Whether NASA's hiding something or not, we're probably not going to know. It did look like a fish. It looks like it has a tail. Uh, you can see it here, like a tail here. 
uh, from, from a fish has this weird shape an eye and the mouth here okay i don't know maybe i'm just going crazy this is hiding something or not we're probably not gonna know number four all right number four the martian bird when we talk the martian bird okay <laughs> about aliens our minds immediately jump to gray humanoid looking beings or even ufos all we right. rarely consider the existence of alien fauna however and we should be thinking about alien animals because if this next photo is real they may have proof of life existing on mars the curiosity rover an unmanned research vehicle that is currently on mars takes photos of the martian surroundings and regularly sends them back to earth and in one of these photos, something quite odd can be seen, something that cannot be explained fully. Okay. On the top right corner of the... So... Okay, so this is from Mars, right? the photo, you can see a winged creature, apparently in the act of flying. There is also something reptilian to the creature, with the wings looking more like that of a bat rather than a fully feathered bird. The creature also appeared in multiple photos, which shows movement. Okay, wait, so... Let's say this is a, a real picture, right? And there is a birth there. Uh, the Mars rover has been on uh, on Mars for quite a long time. So what? There's only one birth on the whole planet? <laughs> like, come on. Nah, I think this is absolutely fake. I mean, you would expect if, if there is something there, like, I'm not saying aliens, but I'm saying like even fauna, like animals, you would expect to see more, not just one. What is one birth <laughs> on the whole planet? Come on, that's bullshit. Nah, I think it's fake. Who knows? Maybe they just fake the picture or it might be a glitch or something like that in uh, in this picture, right? Aside from that, basing on the speed in which Curiosity takes photos, the creature flies with incredible speed. We're honestly still not really sure what it Unless it's not a bird and it's a, UFO, a weird UFO or something like that. It could have captured some bat, some bird, or is the Mars Curiosity rover faked? Yeah, I'll leave that one up to you. Number yeah, I don't, three. Nah, I don't believe that one. Let's see this one. Alien or demon? Okay. If you allow me to paraphrase Forrest Gump here, the paranormal is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's exactly what happened to a group of paranormal investigators during one of their investigations in Kennel Vale Woods in Cornwall. Mark Davies of Falmouth investigates evidence of paranormal phenomena in different places in the country. He and three friends visited Erie Wood Kennel Vale at Ponsonoff at about 9 p.m. when they made the incredible discovery. A video which he shared on YouTube showed a very strange silhouette appearing across a small bridge which leads to one of the derelict mills which stands on the site. It then seemed to move and stand in different places. The video also shows the various ways in which Mark and his colleagues were negatively affected by the I don't really see anything there. The entity. Mark himself felt stabbing pains in his back, while one of his female companions felt as she was being choked as soon as the entity appeared. Honestly, this could be either or, alien or demon. It might be a tree, and it's just a fake, it's a fake video. I don't believe this one. Plus, I don't see anything. I can see some sort of a shape here, okay? It doesn't look like anything to me, it looks like a tree. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's moving, like they say. And obviously the whole pain and stuff like that that happens to them uh and they can easily fake that one so nah nah maybe both let's look to doom for this nah it's completely fake now it's time for the day's best pick <clears throat> all right let's see today we're going to be looking at filmed encounters of the alien most commonly seen by man number two okay the gray aliens this when is the good stuff, about right? Alien encounters, the most common image that pops up to mind is that of the gray alien. These are small, gray skinned aliens with large heads and large black eyes. But although they have figured prominently in alien encounter stories, footage of them is actually quite rare. So, when a video services that claims to have filmed one of the creatures, it's going to make waves in the paranormal community. The footage you're seeing right now was caught on camera and posted on YouTube by a channel called Paratruthers. Their description Okay, but uh, truthers. <laughs> All right. Version of the video reads: A gray alien caught on camera, January 2015, in Salford, UK. The uploaders conclude that this is a gray alien because of how the creature in the video looks and moves. Nah, nah, come on, no fucking alien moves like that with the with the arms like this. That's fake. Come on, <laughs> this is so stupid and so fake. There are many skeptics of this video, but we take into account that the channel where this video was uploaded to was rumored to be shut down by the government. And so there may be something to this footage. Or maybe they just shut it down for 
their own reasons. <laughs> nah, nah. After all. Come on, there's no alien that works like this, there guys. Are that this is a great alien because of how Look how he's moving. Is that a movement for, from an alien? Come on. What is that? It's like a, he's a, <laughs> I'm so, a drag queen, you know? Like, come on. Oops. Nah. There are many skeptics of this video. This is so stupid, so fake. We take the channel where this video was uploaded to was rumored to be shut down by the government. And so there may be something to this footage after all. Nah. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to- Wait, what happened with the voice of this dude in the video? It changed from like a strong voice to like... Okay, well, Please, that's weird. Please leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds. You'll get ten years of amazing luck. Just try it. It really worked. Okay. Number one. Maybe this voice of the video of uh, telling the story, it's an AI voice, right? I don't know. <laughs> peeping Tom. We peeping all Tom. value our privacy and we don't take kindly to peeping Toms. But what if someone that's peeping into your window every night is literally from out of this world? This short video that you're about to see shows us exactly that. An intergalactic peeping Tom. This video was uploaded to YouTube on June with the title of Alien Filmed in America, and it's quite an interesting watch. The clip shows the window being filled from the inside of the house, when all of a sudden, a large bald okay. head of a strange creature emerges from the bottom of the window. It also had large black eyes, features that are... It kinda looks like it's painted. ...typical of a gray alien. After a few seconds, seemingly satisfied with what it has seen, it lowers back down out of sight. Now, the creature here admittedly looks like it's made of rubber, but then it yeah. blinks, which honestly surprised me. But it doesn't matter what I think. What matters is your thoughts. Is this a, a real alien peeping Tom caught red-handed? Let us know in the comments. Nah. I think it's another fake one. I don't know. It didn't look like uh, real to me. It looked like the eyes and everything was painted with uh, on that one, so nah. To me, it's a uh, complete bullshit. <laughs> Let me stop on his face. Uh, for a second. Yeah, look at this. It looks like it's painted here. This would be the eyes and this would be like some eyebrows or something like that. But they don't they don't look real. Nah. Uh, this is another fake one. So, Alright, so out of all these um, videos here that we watch, all these aliens, <laughs> I think none of them came true to me and uh, proved me wrong. Okay? None of them convinced me that they are real. Probably the ones from uh, from the military, you know. But even there, they didn't show us too much. So, I don't know uh, what to believe. It might have been something else rather than a UFO. But again, usually military, they try to they don't try to get too much attention on them. They actually try to hide, <laughs> you know, from this stuff. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, you know. Uh, let me know in the comment section what do you think do you believe in aliens do you believe all these videos are real or fake to me they're all fake all of them none excluded okay again a little bit maybe the one from the military but i haven't seen anything there uh that is too convincing except for a, an image on the screen and that's it uh so who knows i don't know i'm not convinced yet that aliens are here or they come on the planet i'm not saying they don't exist i'm just saying they never came on earth I never seen them I and so far all these uh, pictures and footage they didn't convince me I'll check more of this obviously I'm not gonna react to them and see if any of those videos or pictures out there they're gonna convince me but so far I'm still uh, skeptical a little bit but anyway guys that was the video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe and if you want to become members of my channel just press the join button and I'll see you in the next one bye